Hello and welcome to Most Haunted. Hideous moans, groans and tearful cries shriek around this Highland home. Add these eerie sensations to nauseous feelings of oppression and a number of roaming ghosts and you'll see why I had to bring you to Fivey Castle. This ancient home can be found 26 miles north of Aberdeen and at 795 years of age it promises a whole host of history. The castle's original timber frame made way for the 14th century style fortress that we see today. And a thoughtful design it was too. Surrounding hills, river and bogland meant that the only feasible direction of attack came from the south. And that of course meant those old foes, the English. Fivey then spent several centuries passing through a succession of family hands until its eventual sale to the National Trust of Scotland in 1982. Fivey Castle, it's absolutely incredible. It's, it's got ghosts, it's got myths, it's got legends, and it's absolutely steeped in Scottish history. William the Lion, Alexander II, Robert the Bruce, Edward I, all stayed here and hunted from this place. King Charles I lived here as a young boy. The morning room with its beautiful decor hides a gruesome secret. In the 1800s, the fireplace to the room used to be in this position. It was then taken down and moved over here. It was then that they discovered the skeleton of a young child. And ever since then, the cries of a young baby have been heard in this room and throughout the whole of the castle. And also, there's a malevolent spirit, which they believe to be the ghost of the mother, that still wanders along the corridors searching for her murdered baby. The smell of roses often permeates through the Gordon bedroom for no reason. And the ghost of the Green Lady, thought to be Lilius, has been seen many times by a variety of different people. Many people stand aside as if somebody has walked past them when there's nobody else in the room. And some staff members absolutely refuse to enter here. And in the adjacent dressing room, there is another strange story. It never heats up. It's absolutely freezing in here, despite efforts to make it warmer. It's the coldest room in the whole of the castle. But why? Well, many of the staff believe that Lilia still lives in this room 400 years after her tragic death. This is the Douglas bedroom, or murder room, where Lilius was barbarically starved to death. There are stains on the floor that are believed to be the blood from her family who tried to rescue her. Many people, when they enter the room, have an overwhelming feeling of sadness, and some people have felt faint and sick. Below the charter room is a secret chamber that is said to be cursed. If a laird tries to open it, they will die and their wife will suffer from blindness. And that is exactly what happened to two of the lairds. They tried to open it and failed and died shortly afterwards. And both their wives suffered from eye irritations. One of them, shortly afterwards, did in fact go blind. Is this really a curse or just a remarkable coincidence? One thing's for sure, the castle take it so seriously that they wouldn't let us, the most wanted crew, try to open up the secret chamber. It just adds to one of the many mysteries surrounding Fivey Castle. So here we are in what I would say is one of the most haunted castles in Scotland and I reckon that we're in for it tonight or at least I hope so. Also joining us in the Scottish Highlands is Louis Sava. But what does our sceptical parapsychologist expect to see tonight? Fivey Castle is probably one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to. But what do you think is going to happen tonight here at the castle? And what sort of things excite you about the, the place? Sure, well I'm expecting this to have similar kind of phenomena we experience week after week. Raps um, and hopefully apparitions. Mm. So we'll see. What do you think is going to happen here tonight to the crew? Well, this is a large old castle with a lot of myth uh, surrounding it. So I'd expect them to, to experience the whole remit of uh, ghostly phenomena, including the raps and the uh, cold spots that, that we always experience. Um, I'm not saying they're going to be caused by any kind of real apparitions, but we'll wait and see. 
and with spiritualist mediums Derek Okora and David Wells, also now on site, we could test our resolve as we spend 24 hours in the isolated and haunted confines of Fivey Castle. So does anything strike you as soon as you come? Well, just as we walk through? through the door, yeah. it almost it get me across the solar plexus. It seems here that um, I'm getting this feeling of like um, a man and a woman, and the man shouting at the woman, and that feel this is from the residual energy. I've got like a depraved mind, uh, and that is linked with a man, mm -hmm. and I feel he walks here. He comes in from past memory and, you know, oh, it's a horrible feeling, this heavy. It's like, you know, a sickening. It's like he gets the young lady and he gets her into such a position. And nothing short of just absolute... What um, do you mean he gets her into position? What, what, in what way? I feel this man um, bodily raped, this young lady. So are you picking up on who, who he was? Was he, was he? Did he live here or was he just visiting this particular house? No, he had something very strongly to do with... The, what, Sam? Say, say it again. He was the laird. The laird. And who's the lady? Was she a maid? What? She was his daughter. What I've just seen him doing. Tell us what time period this would have been. It's, it's gone back to maybe the uh, late um, 14... 14 going into the... Uh, it's probably in between the 14, 15 hundreds. Mm -hmm. And um, he's wanting to, he goes around this castle and he's ranting and raving. It's like a replay of what he's done. And he's smashed his wife down. Oh. What, he's feel, filled with remorse and guilt or is he, or is he still angry? No, he's still angry. angry. A nasty soul, Evie. A depraved soul, a depraved mind. And, you know, Mr. Big Cheese of his day, he, he run this place, he can do anything he wants to do. Oh, what? What can we just go a little bit closer? Yes, sure. He raped his daughter here in front of his wife. And the screaming and the shouting, the, the, the mother, love, couldn't stand it. She, and he, he beat her. This is going to really hurt you and sicken you, but um, forgive me if I say mm. it, but where this fireplace is here, mm -hmm. behind there, it's like as if I saw a replay of him dragging the physical remains and placing the lady, that's his wife, behind here. So not his daughter that he raised? No. You're talking about his wife and, she, and he's buried her remains behind the fireplace? Behind there. Definitely behind the fireplace? Behind there. Okay. He's slain his own daughter as well. He's killed the two of them. At the same time? I feel one after the other. In the same time period, yes, sort of within absolutely. A week, I, I days, feel, months? I feel it could be within a matter of, because uh, what comes to mind here, um, a period of three, that, that could be three, three days, three weeks. Mm. I feel people would probably classify him in his day or think um, he went away to gain experience of the dark arts. He comes back here, he's, he's, he's stronger, he's stronger, and, you know, I feel it was round this raging that he thought, I can do this, I can do it, I'm a slaughter my own daughter, I slaughter my wife. I can rape, I can pillage, I can do anything. And, you know, um, he's a warlock. <laughs> take it off me, take it off me. What, what you don't have to do that to me. Who's this? Okay, Alexander Seaton. Alexander Seaton comes here. Is this the lad? Is that the lad? He's one of the lads. I can hear the voice as well. Ask him if you can contact him. Ask him what, what year he was here. Ask him... 1485. 1485. Alexander Seaton was indeed a former laird of this Highland Manor, but he lived between 1555 and 1622. He did have several children, including daughters, as a result of his three marriages. This had provided a shocking insight into Fivey and an early reminder that this may well be a home to a hideous and hidden past. But how many other skeletons would we discover as the night wore on? Don't like it. That was almost like... That was almost like... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up.
towers of Fivey are said to have each been built by the families that have called this castle their home. Folklore also paints a traditional and predominantly wholesome past, much in keeping with Aberdeenshire's tranquil countryside. But of these five families, Derek feels that one particular relationship had ended far from peacefully. Had a 17th century laird brutally killed his wife and child? A move upstairs may hold an answer. Oh, God, yes. It's a lady. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, oh. Um, don't know. No, no, she don't let her in. No. Okay. Because I'm unsure of this with her. Is she benevolent or malevolent, Sam? She's benevolent. Okay, well, okay then. Right, she comes through here, she walks this passageway right. often, and, and I know she would be heard the footsteps, if I can, just reenactment, if, the, if you like, of her spirit body. As she comes in, she's drawn to this room. Mm. There's no two ways about it. She comes in, and it's like as if she stands and she looks in maybe that direction of that bed. Mm -hmm. She comes over, uh, comes closer to this area, and she's looking into that bed for some reason. If anyone was lying in that bed, it's not so much that they would really see um, either a male figure or even a female figure. She comes in this hue of colour. And it's like, as she gets closer to the bed, it gets bigger and it gets bigger from that area. Um, not only is that happening in the atmosphere, the colorations, this is what people would see, it probably frightened them to run out the room. And who is this? Who do you feel it is? Um, this, again, um, I feel um, would most definitely, I feel, be attributed um, to the mother love that was slaughtered. She could manifest and develop, and she could probably be seen feature, you know, the features, mm. but she decided, because of her unrest, um, and uh, also the colours are also, through my experience, the colours are brought about not by just the torment, it's because she's not related that she's truly out of the physical body, she's still holding on to resentment, I suppose a certain amount of hatred mm. of what her husband did, not just to her but the daughter. She would have visiting spirit energies coming around her trying to convince her to let go of the atmosphere and come for a rightful place in the world of spirit and that's why those colors are surrounding her. they're actually surrounding her spirit body with things in full swing we immediately decide to switch our cameras into night vision and join david wells on the second floor Activity here was clearly high, as David also sensed this female presence, just as the camera crew were all pressing record. What was that? That was a door. That was a door, Sam. Something's just moved this bed. Yeah, something's touched it. I, I, I kid you not, the bed's just been shaking. I'm leaning against the poles getting your shot. And the bed's just shook. Is she here she's now? She's here, yeah. She's I, in the I, room with us? I would say that she's present, and she's not just this room. She's maybe this floor. Maybe it's her that's making the noise on the floor. Not just this room. Okay. Um, I'm very, very cold as well all of a sudden. Um, she, she's, she's almost like she's bathed in blood. Sorry. Yeah, but she's, she's bathed in blood. And, you know, remember, uh, surely we will support this, they sometimes put pictures in that are symbolic. Mm. I'm not suggesting. There's two things. Yeah, about. One that the it's just happened again. The bed has just shook from side to side. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's all right. That's what's just happened. I'm just going to sit sort of on the side of the bed, just in case it moves. In case it moves, I, I can. Go on, and you sent something behind you. I just thought I heard something move again outside. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so either that the, she's. She's committed a murder, therefore she's drenched in blood, or people around her or her have ended her life like that. Okay. Can you ask her what her name is? I can't get her name. I'm trying hard to get her name. Can you feel that, like Kelly? I'm sorry to interrupt. Th this is going to go four times. Is it still moving? <coughs> yeah. She doesn't have to be near or on the bed to make it move. No, I know. You she know, can be so anywhere, can't absolutely. she? Absolutely. She can, she, can she can manipulate things so the bed will move. Is she Do you want to ask her? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, she's not thrilled, I have to say. Right. 
If there's a spirit of a female, young female here, if you're moving the bed, can you please make the bed move now for us? Anything on? No. If I saw the canopy moving. If no way. Was that? It's not was you, was it, that car? No, I just, it, it seemed like it came from over here, but I'm, I'm not moving. I've just literally... You did hear it was a bang, that was. Yeah, it's a big bang. If you, if you made that noise, could you please make that noise again for me? Yeah. Yes, definitely. That, 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 that definitely one. came from behind you us. Did you die in this place? Yes. Mm. It's not coming from over It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Where's it coming from, John? It, well, it's, it wasn't coming from over there when I was stood over there. So. God, we're getting more and more of this, aren't <coughs> yeah, we? Yeah, Every yeah. time. And I can never. Okay. Okay. Can I ask you if you owned this castle? Did your husband own this castle? Oh my god. Oh, that's like a water. That's water. Is that water? No, it's like a water. No, no, that's, that's something else. No. That's something else. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it was a very it's big thing. Could we yeah. move people away from that area a little bit? Is that possible? Yeah. yeah. Please, if that was you, I know you've just told us that you died here and your husband owned this castle. Can you tell me where you murdered here? Oh, oh my god. That's coming that's from right underneath my okay. feet. Okay, I scared to knock twice. Okay. Can you yeah. knock twice for us, as yes? It's, it's twice. 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 Right, shh, keep quiet. Is your name Lady Drummond? Yeah. Was that? I think, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. To do it, really, if she could... If that was you, please, please, could you do it? I have to be really formal here, I'm sorry, but... My lady, could you please do it twice for us, really loudly? <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh! Thank you! Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. Thank you. What do you think of that, Louis? It's very good, nice. Okay. okay. Wow. Is the other astral being a male? Is that a knock? Though? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Very faint. Okay. Should we be wary of him? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Does he want us to leave this place? Is he aware? Oh, yeah. He does. Is he aware of us being here, my lady? He is. Will you stay with us and be with us for the rest of the night that we are here? Yeah. Thank you. That was fascinating. The Gordon Room is synonymous with the ghostly apparition of Fivey's Green Lady, an area that often makes both castle staff and visitors feel intense displeasure. And now the irregular bumps and bangs emanating from the bed have transferred a similar sensation through to some of the most haunted crew. This was, it seemed, the perfect place to begin the night vigils, but would it remain as active with just David, Richard, Carl and Stuart now present? This is where, um, is where we've been shown around. Mm. I mean, I could say this because Dave's already picked up a lady in here. I won't say her name or anything, but they actually said that um, he said one of the reasons for this room being so cold is because he said uh, that the lady still resides here oh. <clears throat> 400 years after she died. Oh. You think, wow, what a, what a powerful. Oh, Don't scare that out of me. If you're here, please make a sound in this room. Oh no, that's mad. Did you hear that? I'm wondering if that was me. Let me just try and do it. No. Who's that? That's me. No. Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, I was excited about that one. <clears throat> please, if you're here, please make a sound. Bloody hell. Yeah. Please make a really loud noise that's if this is your room. Okay, you obviously have a need to tell me something, is that right? You died here? Oh, cool, my God. Sorry, no, it does freak me out, that. It doesn't matter. Right, it doesn't so it nerve, it Tell you what, I know this sounds nonsense, but let me do a, a, a what's his name, um, what's his name, Tom, and when you're asking a question, I'm going to put my ear to the floor. 
Okay. Yeah. Good luck to you. Yeah. You get. You get. Sounds right. bloody stupid. No, no, no. no we'll go up and try a different thing, Richard. So you died here. You feel responsible for your own death. Was this the thing? I can feel the floor. I swear to you. Do it again, David. Was this a clan war? Yeah. Oh. Where you, what you get? I can feel the floor. You can, it's as if it, it, it's, I, mean, I can't say it's there, it's there, but... You can't again. pinpoint it. I can't pinpoint it, but I can feel the floor move. It's the message for the people that still own this house. Is that too, Richard? Yeah. Do you want them back? Oh, good grief. What are you hearing? What, what are you getting, Richard? I'm, I'm getting, I can feel the vibration within, within the, the, the floorboards, within the carpet. And I, you can hear it as clear as clear. You can hear the tap. Much louder, of course, than we are up here. And it's coming from, it's as if someone's underneath here with a stick. Pitting up. Putting up, yes. But you can't pinpoint exactly where. But the, thing is, the only thing to actually verify that under, under this, there is one room under this. Yes. But there's no one in there at the moment. So I might put on the camera. That was almost like... That was almost like... That was almost like... Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. Really listen to me. Okay, we're listening to you now. Was that you that made that? Is where I'm coming from? Can you hear that? What have we done? Shh, shh. Was this a welcoming call or a warning that some unseen soul had far more ulterior motives? Who would choose to answer our question? I'm, I'm not having any more of this. I'm going. <laughs> stately home for several centuries. Aberdeenshire's Fivey Castle had quickly awoken our senses, with several noises recorded. The precise proximity of these sounds had not only impressed our parapsychologist Louis Sava, it had also added to our endeavour as we proceeded with the night vigils. We returned to our original port of call, the morning room. I joined Louis, Derek and both Johns there, just yards from where an infant skeleton once lay. Are you here with us? If you are, please, please try and talk to us. We don't. Yeah. yeah. Now we we'll see what happens. And again, anyway. and again, and again. Bang! You get it? Yeah. The light, then the bang, <gasps> and again. Wow! We're behind us now. <gasps> it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do you know You're not okay. You're all right. Did you not see that? That was like oh, that yeah. was like running. Oh, no. That was like oh. running behind oh. those. Yes. Okay, let's see. Here behind me. Let's see. Wow, wow. Hey, we've got a swale coming all around us here. We've got three of them here. Three of them, and they're around us. So don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Please give us another sign if that's you knocking on the floor. Please knock harder. Can you not feel that? Can you not hear it? No. No. Put your no. boom down there. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but... <laughs> 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 no. Please, if you can give us another sign, if that's you that's knocking on the floor, please knock again. What? Yeah. Did you hear really? it? Very, and again. Very... Whoa! Yeah. yeah. And again. I'm not moving. And again. Oh, no. With so many investigations behind us, we know that some haunted homes can prove inconsistent in their phenomena. Activity levels dip between day and night and from room to room. Yet Fivey was clearly hotting up, much to our amazement. Meanwhile, David, Richard, Carl and Stuart were already openly wondering what their vigil had stirred up on the second floor. Tap four times if you can hear my voice properly. Oh, oh, no way. One, two, one, two, 
Just so that we're clear, can you please knock once for no? Oh, all right. That was yes, 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 yes. <laughs> are, are, are you yeah, what he said. Are you and this woman married? Because that's how Yvette does to me when I say anything. Yes, yes. yes. Go on, go on. Oh, cry now. What? What? Did anyone you need what to... What here? What's up? Something just touched my leg. It kicked no. me. Something kicked me. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I've got a horrible feeling it's going to come up through the seat, through the floor. Oh. Do you know that? Manifest. My, my, my well, well, I hope so. so. I don't think she's going to manifest, but I think she's... I'm not kidding you. I, I swear to you, something just kicked me. Something kicked my leg. Okay, we'll sign out. So, did you just kick Carl? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, that was the marriage quote. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Please. Oh, she oh. flicked my ear. Yeah. What? What happened? Go on, I'm going. Oh, I'm, I'm not I'm in anymore on this, I'm going. What happened? What no. happened? Sue, Stu, what happened? Stu, don't go. Stu, don't, I, Stu, Stu, what, what happened? At least tell us what happened. I've just stood there and something's just hit me on the shin. Same That's you and Carl. This is getting quite... What, what, what did it feel? What hit you? Was it a hand? Was it some grab you? Something it, hit it you? Felt so, it, it, it felt as though something just went like that on the shin. That's all it was. I'm getting really scared now. Okay, I'm going to ask you the question. I know you want me to ask it. I know you've impressed it. Is there anyone who's travelling with a group of people I arrived with, or came with, with me, that you shared a past life with? Make it louder, because that's not enough for me. That was loud. That was right by this door. So someone here you already know. Is it someone in this room? Louder if it's someone in this room. Yeah. Is it is it Carl? Is it Carl? One knock. Okay, let's try that's maybe a no. Is it Richard? Is it me, David? Is it Stuart? Is it Carl? It's Carl. All the others. It's you, mate. <laughs> You're the chosen one. I, I really don't want it to be. <laughs> I, really, I, really, I really want to go. But that was mad that you never... Well, you better go, Stuart, if you want to go. Do you want to go, Stuart? Do you mind? You've got to no, talk. Stuart, if, you, if you're not happy, no, mate, you've got to go. I agree. You should go. Okay. All right, Stu. See you downstairs. Do Carl work in this house? Knock twice for yes. But um, That was but um, yeah. I'm getting freezing cold and I'm really not enjoying it. Okay. I'm not frightened. I'm not frightened. I'm staying. I'm, I'm, I just ask a few more questions because I don't want you to have to go through a PLR here because it's too. If you if you lived here and we regress you here, it's too much. It's too much for you. I just don't want to do that for you here. Go on, go I don't on. care what she says. It's too much for her. Yeah. She's saying do it, do it. No, I don't care what she says. Well, if you want me to do it, do something bigger than that. Okay, okay, okay. Listen to me. I'm going to ask you these questions then because you, I know you're impressing on me. This person, who you're... Okay, calm down. I'm getting the internal off. <laughs> this person, am I right when I say he saw what happened? He saw... He saw what you were love for someone else? Was this the person who was the someone else? Twice, please. Yes. Oh. It, it, it's, it's, it's so emotional, it's so remarkable. Listen to her, she's going mad. Can, no. I, can I just not interject? Can I sort of come in? Is it alright if I use some names now? Yeah. I've been um, listening to you, uh, communicating with us. I, I think I know who you are. Is your name Lilith Drummond? Dame Lilith Drummond. I, I apologise. I really apologise uh, for not referring to you with your correct title. Dame Lilia Drummond, it's you, isn't it, that's with us now? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Will you starve to death? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we feel so sorry for you. Was, was this gentleman that's here, was he your lover? That surprises me. I wasn't getting that. I was getting more like confident. Oh. Wow. My gosh. Was she in love with me? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. That's a good point. Oh, well. Yes. Maybe, uh, maybe oh. ask that distinct question. 
Richard. Sorry, go on. Well, okay. Can I just ask, were you in love with him? Oh, my. Okay. Was he in love with you? Did, did he know of, of her love? Did he know that you were in love with him? He does know. Yeah. Oh. I think you are. How did you feel, Carl, when you first got here, when you first came to the castle? As soon as I walked in, but I'm not the only one to have said it, as, but as soon as I walked in, I felt that I could have moved straight in. And I, I, I've not been scared in any place here. I, I, and I found my way around very quickly. Can you, can you tell me, Dame Lilith? That's it. Yeah. OK. Um, was this person in that life, was he called... Douglas? Was it Dougal? It's as if she's actually talking Was it Douglas? Us. Please tap twice if it was Douglas. Was it Dougal? Thank you. So his name was Dougal. We've never, we, we've never experienced anything quite like this. Here. It, it is absolutely remarkable. It's because of the link. Like Thank you very much, Lilius. Oh, are we, are we going or are we staying? Are we? We've got to go, but we're almost out of time. Have you got a torch over here? Sorry, can you scrub all this? Yes, of course. You're right, Carl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not, she's not nasty. She isn't no, nasty. That's not the point. It's just that I don't understand it and I'm frightened of it. Well, I think that's my problem. With her, so. Faces that express equal amounts of worry and puzzlement. And unbeknown to them at the time, David, Richard and Carl's experience of the Gordon Room would set the scene for a truly amazing climax to our investigation, a fivey castle. Would you have liked to have had his children? I don't, I don't understand this at all. Castle's walls may ooze with family portraits, but it's a member of Most Haunted's investigative team who has suddenly become everyone's centre of attention. As you've just witnessed, the audibles aimed at this group point to Carl's past life. Had his soul once belonged to a stable boy called Dougal, whose position and possible social standing had kept him from 5E's 17th century owner, Dame Lilith Drummond. We had to find out more, and our suggestion of a seance under the supervision of David Wells in this same area would hopefully solve some of our puzzled expressions. Please, if you can hear my voice, can you tap twice on the floor to let us know that you can hear me? Mm. If you are a woman, please tap twice. Thank you. Are you Dame Drummond? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you enjoying us being here? Oh, my word. Please, could you tap twice as a yes? Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's, this is amazing. Thank you so very much. She's going mad. <laughs> what was that? She's That's her. Me. Are you in, in the room with us now? Are you happy that Carl is here? Oh, is she happy? This does freak me out. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Do you remember him as Dougal? Carl, do you want to ask a question? Speak to her, Carl. Would you like Carl to speak to you? Please. Oh, listen to that. She wants to speak. Oh, oh. my gosh. Lilith. Oh, can you feel the table? Can you feel I feel, um, I feel very strange talking to you. Um, oh my gosh, can you hear this, John? She loves this. Do you miss me or do you miss Dougal? <gasps> do I look like Dougal? <sighs> Was your love something? 
that you both wanted to happen but couldn't happen? <sighs> was it because I was a stable hand? Yes. Oh, that's okay. And you were married? Yes. Oh, wow. Never had anything oh, like this oh, before. No, no. Okay. Do you miss me? Oh. Oh. Did I talk? Did, did Dougal talk to you about your problems? Did you know that Carl was coming here today, and did you know that he was Dougal in a in a life with you? Yes, you did. Just... You did. <laughs> Did you make this happen, Lilith? Did you make us come here somehow, some way, so that you could speak to Carl or Dougal? Is that why you want to stay here, Lilith? You want to stay here until you have met with Dougal again? But she, yeah, because she doesn't want to leave here. She's quite happy here. Is that right, Lilith? You're happy here, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Will you now want to cross over and move to the other side, go towards the light, now that you've spoken to Carl? So I'm correct in saying that you still wish to stay here? Yeah. Yeah, please make the, the, the bangs louder for us so we can see. Hear, thank you. Yeah. So we can hear what you're saying. Because you need to stay here. <laughs> Would you like Carl to stay here? Oh, would you have, would you have liked to have married Carl? Would you have liked to have married Carl? Would you have liked to have had his children? Yeah. I don't I don't I don't understand this at all. So that when you go up over to the other side, will you meet her? Will you see her? If so, move the table. Say again? When you die as Carl, will you see her? Will you meet up with her? Is that what she's waiting for? Oh, who you? No, I know that, but it's it's just ask her then. When I die, will will I will I come and see you? Will I will I be with you? Will my my spirit, my soul be with you then? No. Does she know you're married to me? Yes. yes. Whatever we had and that we couldn't keep. I'm so sorry. Oh. I think I must have loved you very much. Mm. I don't think she died in 1664. You don't? I haven't got a clue why, but I don't think she did. She Table's didn't. going. She didn't. Okay, don't, don't, don't say anything, because I don't think she died. Did you die 1664? Not twice if you died in 1664. Did you do that before 1664? Yeah. Gosh. Amazing. Did you die in the 1500s? You did die in the 1600s. Was it before 1605? Was it 1604? Three? 1602? Was it 1601? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Who's kidding? Uh -huh. Of course I'm not. No, she died in 1601. No oh. way! Do we know what date? No. No. Don't know what That's it. amazing. Yeah, that's all. Good grief. Oh. That's amazing. <laughs> what month was this that you came back? You died in May, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it June? Was it July? August? September? October? Right. Yeah, that's what uh, Robert was telling us earlier. That the problem, they have serious problems here in October, the anniversary. Lily is mm. still here. Mm. 
one or two of our recent investigations have taken unexpected detours into the psyche of some crew members. Thankfully, with spiritual help at close hand, we now feel that we all have a closer idea of how to handle such delicate and often extremely emotional situations. Fivey Castle's early auditory phenomena soon made way for an almost unbelievable discovery. Had our 800-mile round journey been more than coincidence? Had Carl's past life conspired to bring Most Haunted to this building? Whether this is a rational explanation or romanticism remains open to conjecture. But a later review of footage did identify one other peculiar anomaly. Just moments before we called it a night, and as he sat discussing this remarkable experience, was this Carl's former love bidding one final farewell to the soul that still holds so dear. Well, we've had some some fantastic venues, but but uh, Fivey Castle for me ranks as one of the best. Uh, we knew it was going to be good before we got there. But regardless of that, it, it has been, it's been amazing. Unfortunately, I wasn't present at 5E Castle for the Most Haunted Team's investigation. However, after speaking to the team, the various witnesses, and seeing some of the footage, I am able to comment on some of the phenomena that occurred. The first point of interest is when Carl had a sense that he had been at the location before. Now, this we'd call deja vu. And it was followed up by impressions that David got of a possible past life. He said that Carl perhaps was a stable boy called Du. You're the chosen one. I, I really don't want it to be. There are two possible explanations for what's going on here. Either David genuinely picked up on a past life. He genuinely tapped into some sort of psychic energy that was associated with the location and was able to interpret the deja vu experience as a genuine past life. Another explanation might be it's merely his interpretation. David may have been getting visual images or auditory images and therefore match them to Carl's experience. Later on in the investigation, Carl actually said the word married and was kicked as if by some unseen force. Are you and this woman married? Because yeah. that's how Yvette tells me when I say anything. Yes, yes. Oh, crying out. What's up? Something just touched my leg. It kicked no. me. Something kicked me. It's very difficult to tell from the footage that we have available that the kicking sensation that Carl experienced was not as a result of another member of the crew accidentally kicking him or perhaps knocking into furniture in that particular location. During a seance that was conducted, there was tapping heard. Fortunately, on hand was John Gilbert, the sound man, who was able to pinpoint the source of the tapping to the centre of the room and I believe the centre of the actual table where the seance was occurring. Please make the, the, the bangs louder for us so we can see, hear, thank you, yes. so we can hear what you're saying. Oh my gosh. However, a sceptic would argue that it's not well controlled conditions. We cannot be sure that somebody wasn't subconsciously producing the tapping or perhaps because of the old location that it wasn't merely an environmental cause. For example, the floorboards, window sills, any wooden part of the environment that may have been altering slightly because of a drop in temperature. Are you happy that Carl is here? Oh, is she happy? Oh, my gosh. Remembering that Carl is a sceptic, I saw Carl's face. I saw, I saw the tears in Carl's eyes um, and the emotion that came over him. Um, and I personally think we're starting to even to convince Carl. Would you, have, would you have liked to have married Carl? Would you have liked to have married Carl? I don't, I, don't, I don't understand this at all. Many names and faces can be connected to Scotland's Fivey Castle. But is its biggest treasure a hidden love and endless passion that time cannot tame? Until next time, sleep tight.